Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X. Where we last left off was we basically uh, got through the temple of the Joes, the Joes Temple, got the Destruction Sphere, got the item that was hidden inside of that Destruction Sphere. So we're done with like three, I think it was, three out of the temples, out of six of them. Uh, right now we're attempting to again fight uh, Dark Aeons, uh, Dark Valifor to be more specific, so we can finally break into uh, the Besed Temple. Um, right now the strat we're going for is throw your Jimbo, <laughs> throw your Jimbo with his ultimate Zenmato, 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 uh, to to hopefully, hopefully, uh, well that was an insta kill, okay. Um, to hopefully be able to... Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted thinking about what I'm doing here in this fight. Um, hopefully to beat out Dark Valifor so we can get to the Besed Temple. We're using Zenmato to hopefully insta-kill Dark Valifor. And I'm only going to give it three more tries, which is this is my third attempt to try to do this. If we can't hit that lucky strike... Then the idea is that I'm gonna take Yuna back to Besed, or back to Sin, and uh, probably Trainer. I actually didn't get to look up the thing. I should have probably looked it up. I was I was I was cooling off and taking a break, and I've totally forgot to like look up if leveling up Yuna helps with upgrading the Aeon stats. But I'm kind of curious if it doesn't or not, or that it might be just not by much. You know what, thinking about it, I can do it while Prepare we're waiting for this thing to happen. It's gonna happen a few times here where I'm just waiting for dead downtime from this. For Christ's sake, this doesn't count. Usually if it's an insta-kill for the whole party, which this is technically it, then uh, I don't count that as a run with your Jimbo because we never got to summon your Jimbo at all. And funny enough, like, it's stupid <laughs> that they choose to do the insta-kill like that. I just don't get it. But yeah, this is technically the beauty of playing against Dark Aeons. I don't know why. It's stupid, but it's a thing. <laughs> I I personally feel like they're just like... The developers chose to do this probably to torture people or something. <laughs> I honestly think it's just a lot of unfairness in the way that they set this, like, this whole thing up. I just don't know. Um, Alright, let's get down there. I'm wondering if I can pay you a Jimbo like maybe just five gills. See how that changes. See what changes from there. But I doubt it that it changes much. Dodge. It's gonna hit with magic, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, there goes that guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them attack like normal just to get through it. Alright, let me look up. Does Yuna... Uh... Aeon stats... Okay, I'll, I wanted to type that up just to get it going. So the, the question I wanted to throw at Google was like, does Yuna's sphere level of affect Aeon stats? Because I am genuinely curious. Aeon stats rises naturally with Yuna's, but also with the number of battles the party takes part in. Uh, including boss battles and battles that the party runs away from. Huh. Okay, let me look into that. I want to look into that for a little bit. Because I'm curious about how it does affect it. A, where Aeon stats. X is the value of the stat calculated from the number of battles. You mean the battles that the Aeon takes part in, I guess? Why is the value of stats calculated from you? Oh my freaking gosh. Jesus. You're kidding me, right? That's so stupid. Alright, well, we're dead anyways, it seems. Unless it doesn't throw out... Yeah, because if we are trying to... I don't know if I throw haste. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was thinking if we can back up, like, like if we can just constantly like try to <laughs> bring ourselves back up every time with the stats of speed. She's dead if, if we're not careful. I'm willing to take Aeon like downish, I guess, but that's what it is. Okay, let me. No, no, no. 
white magic. Please to go. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? Oh, Jesus. I'm not gonna be able to save her then. Oh, okay. Never mind. He, she's... Okay, I thought it was... I thought she was gonna get killed here. Because of reasons. But... Hopefully, Yojimbo is enough to handle this. I'm hoping that... Two of them being downed... Can affect Yojimbo's motivation a lot higher. But I doubt that. Because I haven't seen if they're... If... If... Uh, if majority of the party goes down then it would have heightened that motivation i feel like it should but i don't think they would i don't think the developers were caring enough to just give it an end of a, a give it away to a point where it lets zenmato be much more higher because of the fact that you have a lot of like yeah you don't have a lot left so it's like why 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 do you not do this correctly <laughs> please dodge this please dodge it please 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 please, please, please. okay nope <laughs> we're screwed <laughs> GG, well played. Okay, at least we, we attempted it, but... The game chose to give me auto attack, which ain't great. Okay, just... Can I actually, like, revive? I'm kind of curious. Life. Yeah, you can't life Aeons. I wish you could just give life to the Aeons, but it's like, no, they don't let you have it. Uh, I don't know who would have life. Or full life in general. I don't think any freaking Aeons have full life whatsoever. But I'm wondering how it would work if they had the ability for life. Or the, the magic ability, the white magic for life. Why is the stats on the unit stats? And Z is the increase of the stat the player has has done using spheres. After. Oh. So they take the maximum of... I'm sorry, I'm looking at the calculations and how they're calculating the the Aeon stats. But it seems so weird to me because it's like the way they do it. I don't even... Oh, it's not auto-scan, damn it. <laughs> I just realized it was not auto-scan at all. Alright. Yeah, the way they calculate the stats are weird. Max is a function that returns the largest value. Oh, so X is the value of the stats calculated with the number of battles, which we battled a lot, unless they meant the Aeon itself battling, then maybe it's different? Y is the value of the stats calculated from Yuna stats, which is whatever that is. And then it increases based on how much spheres I put into the Aeon itself, which is a given depending on how it goes, I guess. Max is applied for each type of stats. Uh, the Aeon's HP is computed based on the number of battles, and then, again, only on unit stats. And the higher is taken as the actual HP. So technically, if I... Number of battles up to 59, jeez. Oh, for Valifor, I see. Uh, approximate damage that would uh, cause the Aeon to perform his overdrive, their overdrive, respect to the H max HP. I see. Interesting. Depending on N, the Aeon, and the next the stats being examined, the parameter X will be different. Interesting. That's the Hummet. Anima, Yojimbo. <laughs> Never hits up any max and any MP at all. <laughs> this is hilarious to me just seeing that. It's accuracy evasion. His evasion is like a oh my god, it's like so good, but it's like so weird. Uh, agility is really low still, which is weird to me sometimes. So it does matter though about how much battles you put your Aeon go. Yeah, okay, understood. So it's just not just. It's, and so it's not just putting the the Aeons into battle. Yeah, I wonder how I'm gonna bring that up, I guess. The Grand Summon. I don't know what Grand Summon does anymore still. Let's try it. Um, I'm trying to think.
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking to myself about what I wanted to say about the what I just learned while waiting for this battle to go through. I'm sorry if I wasted my time not talking or doing anything for a second in this fight. I was just enamored by the fact that it's like stats are very like very dictated differently and than I anticipated. But the, it's weird because the stats are different. Maybe because it's a different game. Maybe like a different version of the game, giving different versions of the stats. So the idea is that. Uh, the idea is that the more battles you put these Aeons through, including boss fights, um, the more stats, uh, the, the more higher stats they get, based on that fight that they go through. Uh, which is interesting to me, nonetheless. It's like super interesting to me, nonetheless, because of the fact that, oh wait. Bahamut didn't even lose overdrive. What the heck? I just realized that. I used the overdrive and he didn't lose it. <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't know Grand Summon would actually do that. So I'm guessing Grand Summon is like giving a free overdrive move to the thing. To the Aeon, I guess. Oh jeez, that was a big ass freaking <laughs> overdrive power up right off the bat. There. Okay. Um. Okay, got it. Yeah, so basically we would have to just keep going through like the Sin place, the, the space for Sin, uh, going up to Jet, and then hoping that we can get Yojimbo to be powered up stats-wise. Because he hasn't- Yojimbo wasn't used for any of the fights prior to this Aeon fight. So I think that I wasted my potential in getting uh, Yojimbo very early on if I didn't have the gills. Or, if I did have the gills, I mean. I don't know if I had that. I don't think I had enough when I first met Yojimbo when, uh, when I unlocked that access to the space. So, I think I was, like, way behind on the money amount. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about it. It's just, like, it sucks to... Uh, no, I want to cheer <laughs> everyone. Cheer. Alright, I'm gonna summon up uh, your Jimbo again. Probably just give him some compatibility, maybe. If he uses Enmato, fudge, you know. I can't do anything about it because your Jimbo is like, he does his own crap and I can't control him to do anything more than just paying him to do a thing. Alright, um, yeah, so we're going. This is my fourth attempt for your Jimbo. So two more attempts, and then we'll probably get back to Sin, and then we'll try to use J Yojimbo more often during our run through Sins, like the places that we've been through for Sin. I might do more battles with the other Aeons as well, just so we can get them at least in a good, sp a good space. Yeah, I need him to do this. I need I need Yojimbo to sacrifice a bit of that. That auto was wazi shak shak. Jeez, the name. Waki, Waki Zashi. Yeah, I need him to use that and be able to just not try to auto do that, but to auto do Zenmato instead. I really want him to auto Zenmato because it would make it so much easier for me to not worry about it that way. But yeah, I'm hoping again like the game overs don't reset their stats. Instead, it just relies on like it just goes back to its original stats that it previously had the compatibility for Zen for Yojimbo. So that I don't have to lose out on the fights every time, but we'll see. I mean, it, anything is stupidly possible and I hate it. Stupid stuff can happen and I don't get to choose. I can't choose it because it's literally just randomized as heck. Infidel! Infidel! Alright, here we go. And it gets to attack first. Who does it kill? Of course. The one I didn't want dead at all whatsoever. Dang it, dude. Seriously, every time? Every single freaking time? Uh, let's go for another... Let's go for Mega... No, not Mega Elixir. I just realized... Not Mega Phoenix, I mean. Mega Phoenix is like, if the whole party's dead kind of feeling, but I don't think it matters. Why? Oh my freaking god, Jesus! Okay, here we go again. I mean, if it beats the battle... Like, if, if it does what I need it to do, which is to like... 
not like if I if I'm willing to I'm willing to sacrifice a bit of items if I don't get you not dying every time. Mother trucking! Oh my god, dude, stop! Just let her live for once, you asshole! I can't even like bring her to life without having to lose so much out of that. It's so stupid. And she loses haste every time she dies, and that kind of sucks. Oh, oops, I didn't even give it to Yuna at all. Oh my god, I can't even throw a single bit of anything, even though... You know what? Screw this, I'll do the Mega Hit Phoenix. It doesn't give him full- oh, it does give him full health, okay. Okay, for once, please. I didn't know haste was a single use. I didn't realize it for a second there, I think. Okay, there we go. At least we got that. Alright. Uh, let's do this. Because I actually haven't done this before, so let's do it. I don't think Yojimbo will get the instant uh, overdrive, but we'll see. Oh, he does! Ah, uh, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Baby, please. <laughs> Zen Mato for the win, please. I didn't realize the Grand Summon actually does fulfill, overfill, or refill their overdrive. Like, basically, it's just a a free refill of uh, overdrive from Yuna's side. Okay, I thought it was just, like, into the heal or something like that. I don't even know what it was. Zenmato, please come out. Alright, let's do this. I mean, overdrive gives it a very big oomph, so might as well. Eh, let's do it like that. I don't know, I'm just using as much as I can. I'm very worried. My blood is rushing to my head, I'm very worried. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Sucks to be me. Oh my god. Yep. Bye, Yojimbo. You're such an idiot. If only you threw Zenmato, we would have been done with this bullcrap baloney. Uh, okay, you have every right to kill me off now, Velifor. Just go. I like how mid-air hits were just a miss right there for her. Alright, there we go. Cool! Man, that was such a sacrifice just to, like, not have Yuna die, but it, like, it kept- she- it, it kept targeting freaking Yuna! Why? <laughs> it's like, I just gave it a revive and- gave her a revive and boom! No! <laughs> They're like, no, thank you. You can't have this. All right. Anyways, let's get this as the final try, and then if we don't get it, if we don't hit it correctly, then fudge. I can't do anything more. I'm just gonna live with the sadness that I get. Of course. I mean, I can afford the 200k sacrifice just to get Valifor, Dark Valifor down. But I feel like it would have been nicer if I had more stats upgraded on Yojimbo to give him a much more better sense of stuff. Uh, let's not do anything but... Okay, summit. Um, yeah, the summit. So we can avoid that, that problem of him just throwing out Wakizashi every time. Because I don't want him just randomly throwing a Wakizashi and then dying. Because that's just, like, cruel as hell for me. Like, that's really rude. <laughs> I'm willing to, like, dish out gills just so we can actually, like, get the Zenmato easier. I haven't gotten the Zenmato in a while now. <laughs> and I know Zenmatos are hard to come by for me when it comes to the bigger battles. But when they're, like, super duper small, like, this, it's like, why? That means that I'm losing chances for the first- for the next battle. This is stupid. That means I lost the compatibility, not compatibility, but the uh, stats goes down by a little bit. Like 30, I think it was. You put so much effort in yet, you're gonna screw your you're gonna screw me up here. Really? You Jimbo, you're such an ass. <laughs> you're such an ass in the stat game here. I flippin' hate this. Flippin' hate it. Why can't you do this when we go go up against Dargaon, man? Come on, we can do this. You could do this, it, theoretically, to beat out that Valifor, if only you actually tried hitting it. Uh, I might give an extra attempt, one more extra attempt after this one, because I'm kind of curious 
if that uh, if that can hit up like like in the next one I'm gonna not try to summon him against the smaller uh, fiends the smaller enemies I'm gonna try to just leave him out to just do an auto attack onto the uh, onto uh, Valifor Dark Valifor because I think that was pretty easy or it was pretty sad that he used it right off the bat onto the smaller ones the smaller fiends. Please stop hitting Yuna. Yuna's not enough. Mm. Oh, I'm so freaking ah, freaking salty about this. I hate that. You know, I've played enough games to have randomness be a, a big factor to why I keep freaking getting pissed. <laughs> no, actually, there is games that have like randomness and then they just piss me off because they don't. They they just seem to like. I don't know, it just seems so really ridiculously random just to do that sometimes, and I'm just like, why, please, why? Hit Titus, please. Thank you. Jesus. Ran Ransom. Well, we did lose some numbers, so we might lose an opportunity to ever hitting Sinmato in this run. But I'm willing to pay out 200k just to see if it changes anything in this fight. And then we'll attempt one more after this one. I'm thinking about attempting another Yojimbo one. But this time I would just probably hold off Yojimbo from throwing out any like anything besides uh, besides this specific, uh, this specific fight. No, please! No! Oh, okay, yeah, because I don't get a chance to do it. Why the hell do you auto-attack that at all to begin with? Wait, so, wait. I just realized, he just auto-attacked, but he didn't use a single thing of his overdrive. He didn't even use overdrive. I just noticed that. <laughs> He didn't even throw his overdrive at all out to it. He just got killed right off the bat with the overdrive with him. That's so stupid. What the heck was that? You were willing to dish out Zenmato onto the smaller creeps but not like use overdrive in the fight that actually mattered the most? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time still. Attempting this as the last final attempt for reals for fighting against uh, Dark Valifor for once. I'm gonna be done with this for this run, and then I'm gonna try to just go back to Jet and just train some of the Aeons, I guess. I really want to put more emphasis in fighting against uh, enemies with the Aeons, because I think that the Aeons would be nice to get through at least. Um, I am not gonna summon things at all whatsoever, so I'm gonna just not do it. I'm not gonna attempt it. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna attempt the Aeon, like, summon here. I don't wanna waste the chances of it. But I'm hoping that... <laughs> if Yojimbo literally does not let me pay him to, like, get something done, and it's not a Zenmato. Oh, I'm gonna try it again because I don't really want to fight that again. I don't want to fight his freaking randomness that's just preventing me to, to just playing it like normal. Like, come on, dude. Just let me play like a normal. <laughs> or at least throw a Zenmato if you're auto attacking, you know? Like, auto doing it. Because he keeps hitting the Washi. Washi Zaki. I'm sorry, my brain is like getting more and more like. Oh, come on! This doesn't count. I'm sorry if I'm silent. I'm just trying to like just suffer in this pain. I think one of the things is that I want to mention is that right now we're suffering through California heat. It's literally the highest today in, de in degrees. No fan is running in the background, <laughs> just to give you a heads up on that. So it's like getting higher and higher in hundreds of degrees. It's the worst weather to play games in without a fan on. Uh, and worst of all, you're suffering and stuff. I'm suffering through the heat 
while playing the most frustrating spot in the game for me that I'm trying to like go low, like technically luck base in a sense random base uh huh thank you overkill and overkill I'll just take those and just leave all right cool um, taking those and leave, and then just gonna start start fighting against Valifor here. Um, but yeah, worst weather, not great, <laughs> and frustrating like luck based stat battles here, which is not great either. It's a perfect storm of sadness and madness all at once. All right, cool. Let's get to this fight, please. Oh no, I didn't mean to pause. I just wish that there was ways to just skip these cutscenes because they're just playing all over again and again, just because. But due, but like due to f the fact that it's like an old game, it's like, yeah, it's just very dated the way it is. Oh, I get to go first for once. What a surprise! <laughs> just randomly going first for once, and I bet your gym was gonna immediately die right after this summit. <laughs> He's just gonna use Washizaki and that's it. I'm out. <laughs> peace. <laughs> it's like well, your Jimbo's gonna be like, peace. I'm done. Bye. <laughs> you suck, <laughs> Roz, for for summoning me so much. I'm not giving it to you. Kind of feeling. I honestly feel like that's gonna be what he's gonna do immediately. It would be a miracle to see Zanmato just show up. Okay, good. It would be a miracle, honestly, at this point. I'm paying him 200,000 so he can literally finish this guy off, but the payoff might not even happen. Alright, here we go. Nope, Wakizashi, here we go, losing out this fight again. Because he doesn't get paid enough, or something. Like, it's either Yojimbo just doesn't get paid enough, or just he just does things the way he feels like is best for him. Yep. All right. Well, bye, you jumbo. You just, you just go down in hell and just don't ever come back up. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm being mean. It's like, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just, I'm already like, freaking. I'm just freaking like, fed up, I guess. And another attack, because they got agility of the of the highest caliber. Okay. Goodbye. All right. Cool. Um. All right. Then that means that I should probably focus on getting Aeon stats up and stuff like that. Uh, let's go and train Yuna up again, I guess, and get the Aeons upgraded here and there, I guess, in the meantime. So we'll probably focus on Jet for now, and then see if Yojimbo can finish off Jet instead for the next episode. Um. Let me see what time we got. We're almost out of time here. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and um, switch gears. I know I wasted all my time trying to fight this stupid thing, but hey, you know, we tried. We tried at the very least. Um, board airship. All right, we're gonna go back to Sin. Sin's a very long trip back to it. Your count. Um, I think it's at the top of the list. Sin. List, sin, yep. Back to sin. Um, yeah, it's a very, very long journey into this to go back to where we were at with Jet, apparently. So it's gonna be a while before we can actually see anything interesting or worthwhile. So I'll probably like show you guys me journeying through a little bit, and then we'll end the episode there. Um, once we get to the next save point, I guess. I, I, I don't think we will, but we'll see. We'll try to make it and see how far we get into this space. Um, and then, yeah, from there we'll probably try to make it through. Oh, jeez, I went the wrong way. And then from there we'll make it through to the uh, to the fight against Jet, and then we'll use your Jimbo for a little bit, maybe. I might take some time to to, um, to grind the levels for the Aeon slash, you know, 
But we'll see what happens. I don't think we'll make it yet until we hit that point, I guess. Yeah, because I want to upgrade Yuna's stats to just help with the fight against other things. Okay, good. At least it's not as bad. Okay, that's a death. Yo, Jimbo, please. I do need to heal more often because it seems like these guys are gonna take down my characters really fast if I'm not careful. <coughs> I don't know how far it was when we last went through this though. I'm, I mean, I feel like I remembered it being like very difficult to catch up to the point where we were at. Because I remember it took a long while because there was a lot of enemy encounters in the meantime every time. And it just really sucked up all the, the energy for me <laughs> to get through this base. It took me 2-3 episodes to get through it. It's just really ridiculous. Free! Free attack? What a surprise. I didn't get to spend a single dollar. Or gil. Okay, so it needs 49,000. Okay. Your gimbal, please? I might use Bahamut next time, but we'll see. Or I might if your jumbo goes down, which is not gonna be great, because he decreases a lot in compatibility because he goes down, would be really, really bad. Yeah, so if we if he does go down for this fight, which I hope he doesn't, um, then it would be pretty bad for us because we will lose our chances for Zenmato for the next fights. Because that stat dramatically goes down for that reason. Like I think it goes down like a lot more than using Zenmato itself. Um, I'm gonna pay a, a thousand this time because I was thinking about upgrading that payment due to the fact that the return is higher for some of these fights, so... Woo! Not much damage, but still damage. Breath. Okay. Very scary. We'll see what happens. Wakizashi again. Again, not strong enough, but whatever. Oh, another Wakizashi right off the bat. <laughs> not giving him a chance to just recover or anything. Breath again. It's not gonna kill it this time yet. Like, close. Very close. I'm very scared now. I'm scared for my life because I don't know how... <laughs> I don't think he's gonna throw us in Mato. I really don't think so. You know, Jimbo's probably gonna be like, Wakizashi, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Unless you can just do a Zen Mato right after that, like an instant Zen Mato into it, that would be nice, but I doubt it. Yeah, his breath is gonna kill Zen Mato. Yo Jimbo here. And that means I lose his, my, my Yo Jimbo, which is gonna be bad. Because that means that he's gonna eventually. Uh, I think that this one particularly doesn't work well for Jojimbo because he doesn't- he needs to- he needs Zenmato to like really get it going. Yeah, I mean this thing is very tough to beat anyways. I'm not surprised that it killed off Jojimbo for that reason. Alright, Muhammad, here we go. But at least I increased Jojimbo's stats by a little bit at least. I can do that much, I'll take. Or I'll take that much for sure. <clears throat> and land. Here we go. Roar. Please. Alright, Bahamut, let's go. It only has 16,000 more, so we'll take it. Because I do need to increase uh, his stats a little bit. Mm, wait. Oh no, it takes fire, I see. Uh, impulse, I guess. I don't know. Bam. Taking whatever damage that is. Breath, as always. I don't know why he keeps using breath. It doesn't even do anything besides breath. But Breath is considerably high damage still, I feel like, because it's like, it still matters because of how much damage it throws. Alright, cool. Man, it sucks because we lost Ujimbo in this fight, and I can't revive him unless I go back to the spheres, the safe spheres. 
Because you can't heal the Aeons, I don't think. Yeah. Battles to go. What do you mean to go? You mean to revive? No, no way. Really? Ah, uh, so that means I can't revive him until that battle is over. All right, I'm gonna end the episode after this fight here because I want to. I don't think I get to this. I don't think I can get to the safe sphere in this episode because I think it's gonna take some time. But uh, not to worry or not to give too much pressure here. Um, I'm probably going to do it off my own time just to to get to that point. Um, so in the next episode, we'll start off with when we were at the safe sphere right before Jet's battle. So if you've seen the episode in the, like, what was it? If you've seen the episode like five episodes ago, six episodes ago, so maybe seven I think at this point now. Um, basically, a long while ago when we fought Jet like two times around-ish, uh, that will be where I'll start back, where the safe sphere is right next door to the entrance to Jet's um, fighting location. So we'll po I'll probably load up that point in the next episode, and then we'll start from there and then see where we head from there. Um, with your Jimbo in in that case, so I'll probably train up a little bit on Yuna. I won't probably spend some of that sphere level yet, just yet. But I'm gonna probably hold off on uh, some stuff. I'm probably also going to reload the save because I don't want Jim. I want your Jimbo not to die. I, I need your Jimbo to be like. I need to put some goddamn effort to like at least get this guy at least higher <laughs> because his stats are low and I need him to get up to the point. So I'm hoping that we will get enough to get these guys up a little bit so that we can at least give them some chances to fight off against enemies. I didn't even know Shiva leveled up some health. Apparently her health went up a little bit. So it does matter how much battles we go together versus... Um, yeah, if I use Yuna and stuff and sphere level goes up, it looks like it does go up a little bit. So that's pretty bomb. Pretty good. Yeah, like his M Ifrit's MP went up a little bit, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't remember. I didn't damage them. I just literally walked with them and and battled some stuff, and then that's how I got it. All right, cool. I mean, we're just gonna keep using. I'm just gonna use Yuna. I'm gonna get as much sphere level for her. Probably like ten, maybe twenty, hopefully. Um, and then get her through Yuku. Yeah, <laughs> Yuku's Riku's part of her sphere, uh, sphere uh, stuff and Lulu's stuff in the uh, sphere grid. In the next episode so we'll see what happens then i'm gonna train all these guys still and try to get as much done and then we'll see what happens from there so thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one roz out